Hi friends, welcome back to our Smart India Hackathon 2022 series of sessions wherein we have been discussing the problem statements in software version for different domains. So far we have covered on smart education and the energy and green energy domains. Today we concentrate on agriculture and food technologies. So the first problem in agricultural and food technology is development of a happiness index for schools, including mental health and well-being parameters, among others, with self-assessment facilities. This is sponsored by the Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education, with a code RK782. The National Education Policy discusses the need for ensuring joyful, holistic, and engaging school education. It has been proven that well-being, positive emotions, and engagement can be taught to school children. By teaching happiness, we can teach children to discover and build strengths and to boost their optimism. There can be several aspects of schooling that contribute to the happiness quotient of children, teachers, and parents, such as more activity-based learning than routine chalk on board one, a reliably safe school, clean toilets, cheerful classrooms and surroundings, teachers who treat each other and children with respect and dignity, school that does well in many in diverse areas, school where parents are involved in some manner in the delivery of qualitative education, etc. The idea of this hackathon is basically to develop the parameters or indicators that go into making a school a happy school and develop an app possibly for the self-assessment. So that's the first problem in that. Then the second problem in this domain is developing an application, an app for government asset management. It's again sponsored by the Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education, with a code RK784. We know that there are more than 15 lakh schools in India, plus district, block, or cluster level centers, regional offices of the central government, etc. Both central and state governments need to manage their assets. Details of buildings such as type, size, area, year of construction, capacity, rooms, labs, maintenance required, etc. And this objective of this solution is it should be able to, the data should be available along with GIS mapping of location, present use of building, etc. An app-based solution is what expected out of this hackathon. The third problem is to suggest a solution to help the urban local bodies, ULBs, or state or union territory governments to monitor or control the growth of slums in the country and develop a self-sustained environment to ensure affordable housing in order to avoid growth of slums in future. This is also sponsored by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs with code BV803. We know slums have posed a huge problem for development because they are by definition areas in which the inhabitants lack fundamental resources and capabilities such as adequate sanitation, improved water supply, durable housing or adequate living space. Many governments have tried to find solutions to the problem and one of the proposed solutions is slum upgrading. Slum upgrading is essentially a strategy in which the infrastructure is a, of a slum is improved, such as giving adequate water supply and sewage to the community. Additionally, because of the tenuous legal status of the slum inhabitants, often strategies include the legalization of the right to the land on which slums are built. Slum improvement has been a challenge for the country. Poverty, unavailability of urban land for building affordable housing, paucity of data leads to the rise in slums in the country. In order to make our country healthy, inclusive and prosperous, a strong approach is needed for the development of slums. Technology can play a major role in meeting the shortcomings of the data, monitoring and controlling the spread of epidemic, etc., and regularize the slum settlement. This problem aims for an innovative approach for the redevelopment of the slum areas in order to avoid growth of slums in future and a technical solution to monitor and control the growth of slums in present time. 
And the fourth problem statement is to develop an unique solution that would help to include informal vendors in the public space development without compromising on the urban design. This is also sponsored by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs with the code BV813. Public spaces are a key element of individual and social well-being. The places of communities collective life, expressions of the diversity of their common, natural and cultural richness and a foundation of their identity. Key obstacles to inclusive approaches to street vending management in cities are the perceptions and misconceptions of the role that street vendors play. Informed by and responding to the common set of arguments used to exclude street vendors. Street vendors may contribute to congestion and grime, but so do pedestrians, vehicles, and general public, and city governments that fail to regulate traffic and provide sanitation services. While informally traded food and drink can pose public health risks, vendors would welcome more hygienic working conditions to attract customers and to ensure the safety of their goods. Moreover, when public sanitation services are not available, vendors often clean their areas of operation in open. In many cities, street vendors self-monitor and self-manage their vending sites to reduce congestion, crime, grime, and public health risks. Even after all these things, they have to compromise on the urban design and face a lot of things. The main objective of this task is to help the street vendors to get included in the public space development without compromising on the urban design. And the next problem statement is on automated identification of fish species, auto fish, sponsored by the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services of Ministry of Earth Sciences with code NK826. Inquis, which is nothing but Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services is providing marine fishery advisory services to the fishermen to evaluate its accuracy and in order to develop specific species advisors, advisories, it is necessary to collect and fish catch information at the species level. While fisher folk are supportive to these efforts, often species level catch reporting is having hindrances due to several reasons pertaining to manual efforts, which results to low or erroneous spotting. The solution needed is the hackathon teams may develop artificial intelligence or machine learning based tool for image-based identification of fish species found in the Indian seas. The images of fish may be taken from online image searches. Similar tools are provided in references everywhere and in choices, will be able to use this for its fishermen's feedback app where fishermen need to take a photo of fish caught and fish identification will be done through code minimizing the manual intervention. Then the sixth problem statement is on fishing boat activity, clustering and timeline studies, popularly known as FACTS. This is also sponsored by Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services of Ministry of Earth Sciences with code NK829. We know many countries may not have robust marine fishery reporting mechanisms at place and rely on self-reporting from fishermen. Even with fishermen willing to, this may not be suitable for country level studies, especially in Asian context where thousands of smaller boats operate rather than limited large corporate fishing vessels. It's important for researchers policymakers and security agencies alike to know where these boats prefer to fish at what time of the year. The solution needed is the data from automatic identification system can be used, but there are limited tools to import such data in interactive manner with the help of GIS. Further, many countries may have at harbor reporting mechanisms, but not at ground reporting. Such tool can mitigate such a shortfall. Analysis of automatic identification system may include clustering the data based on the flag of country origin, repeated visit to the same location of fishing, etc. Trend for an individual vessel may be pulled to map moment history to be linked with reported catch later. 
there can be provision to import satellite data or to export AIS analysis data into GIS formats. Example, kilometer files to be used in other GIS platforms. And the seventh and the final problem statement in this series is automated animal identification and detection species. Again, sponsored by Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services of Ministry of Earth Sciences, NK831. Marine fishery is very dynamic in nature. During active season, landing of fish may be overwhelming for a manual monitoring. At the same time, taking cue of the fish landing is more important for researchers and administrators. Manual reporting is limited with sample size, often too small, that lead to high level of errors and prone to wrong extra extrapolation for meaningful fish stock assessment. This calls for automation to be only feasible method for overcoming limitations of manual monitoring and reporting. The manual mode may rather be used to better train computer algorithms. So a solution should focus on image recognition for species made available in the database. Over the time, the database may get richer and thus making the machine learner better. Such a system should envision cameras installed at the harbors and way bridges where species may be identified by artificial intelligence and their proportion can be estimated in order to report the captured biomass effectively and with minimal manual intervention. At present, the catch effort is often weakest link in stock assessment model. Such harbor-based systems may reduce the error significantly. Another, is, you, another use is to integrate the cloud-based algorithm to help report catch through apps where all a fisherman need to do is click the photo of the catch and enter the estimated catch weight. That's the uh, final problem solution with this domain. Now that's all uh, about in this agricultural and uh, food technologies and all the aspirants preparing for uh, national hackathon, Smart India Hackathon 2022. Please get ready and keep watching for more related videos. All the best. Thank you very much.